Okay, viewers, I'll just do a run test of this. The exhaust system I've got made up. Track the muffler. And a metal fog I've got made up for it. Just to silence it down a bit. I'm going to pull this off. I'll give you this a run. I'll get the tripod out and show you this thing running. Now, I have two options. Use a welder, 24 volts DC, and start it up like that. As this is actual, this is the actual starter motor as well. Or I can just pull it with a pull rope to start it, which is what I would do. But just to make it cool, I'll use a welder to start it. Pull these off, and listen to how loud it is. It's an awesome welder. I get my tripod set up and I'll give you a demonstration. Good runner, runs quite well. Okay, let's turn the ignition on and we'll start it up using the uh, generator itself. Here's the roller, 24 volts. Got a tip. Turn it on, not press the start button, let's turn the ignition on. Yeah, and the fuel tank of all the things, so I take that off. We'll start it again. Doesn't uh, melt that bits of metal like the other water did, but it's pretty good. The uh, 240 volt generator works, so I'll demonstrate that later. Got it on. And I said the uh, other 250 that was not, 250 VT, kicks out a lot more amps than this does. This is a 225 there. But that T50 I showed it uh, before has been modified, so I've set a lot more lax than the RPM is doing. So. Selling with it, melting the metal, making molten steel. It's a pretty good welder. That's a, that's, a, that's full setting. Now I'll demonstrate the 240 volt generator. Get the handle behind that. Actually, I'll cut it. Uh, the chop saw and cord too short. Reach there, so I'll get the good lug behind right that. This thing barely fills any power blocking it down. The other. Uh, Normal Honda generator I've got, 3 kva I've got a grinder or um, gel on it, and the motor actually evolves down on that. That's a 11 horsepower, I think. This is a 16 horsepower. When I put pull a uh, load off this on the 240 volt side, this thing barely bogs down at all. So this is probably a lot better generator how much power it can deliver. Alright, I'll get this started again. Turn it on, crank it up. Thank you.
I've had a just the a little uh, layer stack there. Turn this thing up flat out when the engine's doing that RPM, I get 350 volts. So I can either volt these things and get a bit of extra grinding power out of them. But the bloody, the good, good little machine. See when it's stick, I was able to melt that like that. And also with the, um, that bit of metal alone and that two strike together, I was able to melt them completely apart using this other linking as I said earlier. As I said, that one has been modified. I only got, got one tap, one um, uh, current setting on it, and that's revs stupidly too fast. That's why it kicks out a lot more current than this, this can. Still been, uh, it runs quite well. Power put on the pad, lubricated it. That was on flat out, 230. Yeah, I've got to get another face plate for it. Pretty good runner, happy with it. Runs quite well. I'm also chasing up a, um, a new camshaft, piston and a conrod for this other engine, and an oil pickup tube for the sump. So uh, if I can get those parts, I'm gonna get this other Onan rebuilt and re uh, repair it. It's got some, uh, lots of condensation damage or surface rust in that board, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hone all that out. I'm gonna free up that valve, pull the lifters out and get that broken camshaft out and re rebuild this other Onan, because it's actually worth doing. It's not actually, uh, not scrapped. So it'd be a good project. It's still currently the chase, not the parts of that. You don't even need to start it with this, or have batteries to start it. I could just use a pull rope, and she's off she goes. So you don't always need to flash the coils. Great runner. Just uh, in the process of getting some new fuel, new, uh, some new fuel hose and rerouting the fuel back, uh, back up in the tank here. Anyway, she's a good runner, happy with it. The white stem on that exhaust valve there. Now this had as much content, uh, surface thrust as what's in this bore. I cleaned it and polished it and polished it and polished it and polished it all by hand with some sandpaper, and it came up okay. I made sure it was um, pretty smooth. It's, I'm surprised it's not chopping the rings out. So. I'm gonna probably pull that head off again and give it a, a good hone, just to uh, get some extra smoothness out of it. It's not using any oil, but to maximize its, um, its lifespan, so to speak, and not do any damage to it, I wanna um, hone that cylinder out properly. Get the maximum longevity out of this engine as I can, because uh, it's actually a Cummins engine, this. And then, it's a brand owned by, it was owned by Cummins, now they're called um, Cummins Power Generation. Put fresh oil on it. Yeah, it's just a great runner. Quite happy with it. Good little welder. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.